In theory, you should be able to reference how you're different to every other human being on planet Earth. You should have a different emotional bond to every other human. It's the way we're all interconnected, the way our identities are formed, the way we become like the people we spend time with, the way we're shaped and moulded and pushed and pulled and told and allowed and let go. And it creates this internal structure of our own self. But not everyone can access it very well. Not everyone can define their own self in an intellectual, emotional bonded way that allows you to move through the world in such a way that benefits you profusely. <laughs> in a way that you're moving through the world like a game of emotional chess. You know which way is up, down, left, right. You know what's good for you, what's bad for you. You can see the end in sight, not in a visual way, in a more of an emotional, intellectual, intuitive way. And you just kind of figure out as you go, when things come across your path, you know what to do, you know how this thing works, you've seen it before, how it plays out, and where it's going to end up if you choose to go down that road. At your fingertips, you have hundreds, if not thousands of hours of people being their authentic selves. And that's one of the underlying rules of YouTube. You have to be your authentic self and you will become like the people you focus on, the people you spend time with. You will be navigating your own world based on what you choose and your thoughts, which end up becoming things. When you're on your own journey of self-discovery, you have this monumental path in front of you, just through people making videos, being their authentic self, their ups, their downs, their emotional turbulence and turmoil, and them letting you into their lives, and them just being their own self. You can choose how your path is now navigated, like a time never before. 20 years ago, if you wanted to be like a fitness guy, you'd have to go to the gym and get a PT. You wanted to be an academic, you'd have to go to university and spend time with your professor. And now it's all at your fingertips. There's these bonds you have with the world in a way never conceived possible. And you should, in theory, be able to reference your own self to everybody else you're watching. How am I different from that person or that person? Why do I watch that person? What is it about that person? Is it what this person does? Is it who they are? Is it where they go? Is it how they handle themselves? Is it the way they present themselves? Is it who they are on the inside? Now, yes, there's going to be some little bit of fakeness, a little bit of editing, a little bit of stuff you don't see, but ultimately it's the authentic self you're interested in, the person who is on the inside and how that person is different to you. Now, if you want to discover yourself or become more, the more different groups you can reference, social or behavioral or cultural or whatever, the further you're going to get to, because the more you're going to be able to draw on other people's experiences and the more you're going to be able to support them in being their own self. And the more you can get into this self-discovery stuff and get inside of who you are and reference how you're different to that person and create that emotional bond for what would be a relationship, the more you are going to become. YouTube has become the greatest self-discovery tool we've ever invented because you can just watch hundreds of hours of people being their own self and seeing what they do and how they see things and how would I do things different to them and how does that person work and what's inside of them and what's allowed them to become that way and is this person dealing with something that I'm not aware of? Is this person going to a place that I don't understand? How does this person see things and where are they going in their own self by making the videos that they're making? How do they see their own version of reality compared to you? Now, this is all quite deep, but what I'm trying to reference to is that little pocket of energy, that little pocket of emotion, whatever is inside of you that maybe you can't explain or don't quite understand or struggle with. Inside of that is this almost infinite space for you to be different, be more authentic, be your own self, have that emotional, intuitive, intellectual bond with everybody else in a way that helps you and helps them. And being able to build a reference for that can be extremely challenging. If you've never experienced who you are, if you've never experienced your own self 
and how you're bonded to the world, then you've probably switched off already. You've probably stopped watching this video because you've got no interest in self-discovery. This idea of unwinding your world through the way you're bonded to it, your version of reality and how you're emotionally intuitive and intellectually almost stabilized by reality. Because that's what can happen if you've got this false persona, this false image, you can live inside of that construct and never truly understand your own self, truly understand how you as a human machine work. What's good for you? What's bad for you? Where do you belong? How can things be different? What can I do differently? Where can I go? Where does this stop? Where does this start? There's a lot to go into, but this really is your own self-discovery. Now, unfortunately, I can't tell you which way you want to go, but just by following the people you think, actually, I could benefit from being a bit more like that person. I could benefit from not doing what they do, but being the way they're being is probably the better phrase. Then if you start to look at it like that, then suddenly you have hundreds or thousands of different people in their different realms being who they are that you can learn yourself from. I watch this person because I listen to this person because this person's able to do that thing in such a way. What is that thing? What is that little emotional strand of I just can't stop watching this. I'm attached to it in this way that I can't understand. And this is, I guess, the field of interpersonal neurobiology, how we become who we are and how we're bonded to each other because of each other. Our identities, our behaviours, our social constructs, our... The, the, the list goes on. But the point I'm getting at is, if you want to find out who you are, you have a tool like never before. Maybe you want to become more educated. Maybe you want to let go. Maybe you want to be more of a free spirit or an adventurer or care less or care more. This underlying law, this underlying rule of YouTube about being your authentic self has created something in the field of self-discovery that is it's pretty phenomenal because you can learn and you can reflect and you can write down and you can listen and you can pay attention to people who you would never normally have access to. How does this person work? What, how do they think? What do they do? What's going on in their life? How do they see things? Is this person emotionally well or not? So if you want to find yourself, you can.